researchers found that the blockbuster obesity drug Ozempic, produced by pharmaceutical company Novo Nordisk, could be manufactured at a cost even less than $5 per month, far below the near $1,000 list price charged in the United States. Researchers from Yale University, King's College London, and Doctors Without Borders analyzed the production costs of the drug and found it could be manufactured with a profit margin at a range between $0.89 cents and $4.73 for a month's treatment. This stands in sharp contrast to Novo Nordisk's monthly list price of $968.52 for Ozempic, a weekly injection to treat diabetes and obesity. The finding revives questions about the high prices of top-selling treatments for these conditions. Some experts argue that research and development costs do not justify the elevated prices pharmaceutical companies charge for certain medications. Novo Nordisk declined to provide details on the production costs for Ozempic and its related drug Wegovy. The company said it is making significant investments, including $6 billion in capital expenditures and $11 billion to acquire production facilities from Catalan Inc. to ensure public access to its widely popular drugs. This outrageously high price has the potential to bankrupt Medicare, the American people, and our entire healthcare system, said Senator Bernie Sanders, who has held hearings about high U.S. drug prices. The Vermont Independent called on Novo Nordisk to lower the list price of Ozempic to $155 a month or less, in line with what it charges in other countries. The study extends research showing steep U.S. markups for GLP-1 drugs like Ozempic and Wegovy, and underlines long-standing criticism of prices for diabetes therapies, especially insulin. On a per-month basis, Ozempic generally can be produced for less than various forms of insulin, a life-saving diabetes drug that's been available for decades, the study found. The profit margin is immense on drugs like Ozempic, said Melissa Barber, a public health economist at Yale and the study's corresponding author. There should be a conversation in policy about what is a fair price. Novo's combined 2023 sales of Ozempic and Wegovy topped $18 billion. Patents linked to the drugs are likely to expire in June 2033, according to estimates from Bloomberg Law. Novo shares fell 0.8% in Copenhagen and have gained 26% this year. Drug production costs are often shrouded in secrecy with little clarity on how they relate to prices, if at all. Barber and her colleagues used updated estimates for raw ingredient costs and focused on the costs of producing diabetes drugs, including GLP-1 drugs like Ozempic, along with other diabetes pills and insulins. The goal of this research is to have receipts to be as transparent as possible, Barber said. Novo and other drug makers slashed U.S. prices for some forms of insulin by as much as 75% last year under pressure from the Biden administration. By some estimates, however, the reductions made those products more profitable because they eliminated rebates paid to pharmacy benefit managers, the middlemen who negotiate prices for payers and employers. Novo said in an email that 75% of its gross earnings goes to rebates and discounts to ensure patients have access to products like semaglutide, the active ingredient in Wegovy and Ozempic. Drug makers often cite the high costs of research that may last years as a reason for their prices. Spending on drug research and development was almost $5 billion last year and will rise this year, Novo said. Still, debate over the cost of drugs like Ozempic and Wegovy is ramping up. State health plans and Medicaid offices are seeing growing bills for Ozempic and its sister drug Wegovy, raising questions about whether the increases in cost are sustainable. In January, North Carolina cut off coverage of anti-obesity medicines for state employees, citing soaring costs and lack of agreement on pricing from drug makers. Surprisingly, the study found that the biggest cost in producing Ozempic is not the active medicine, called semaglutide, but the disposable pens used to inject it. They can be made for no more than $2.83 per month supply, the authors concluded, based on interviews with former employees and consultants to injection device manufacturers. One Ozempic pen is used weekly and lasts a month. By contrast, the active drug in Ozempic can be produced for about $0.29 cents for a month's supply, or 7.2 cents for a typical weekly dose, the research found. It's not cheap to make. Semaglutide costs over $70,000 per kilogram, but only a tiny quantity of the drug is used in each weekly dose. Other costs include those of filling each pen, estimated at 20 cents per monthly dose, and other chemical ingredients, which the study estimates at 15 cents per monthly dose. The analysis doesn't include estimates for the cost of making Wegovy. Separate research from the University of Liverpool and elsewhere found last year that Wegovy could be produced for a mere $40 a month. All right, that's all for today. 
What do you think about these production costs compared to the selling prices of Ozempic in the United States? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time.